Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about deform track. So in last video, we were discussing about the 2D track. In taking 2D track, the role of deform track is very very important. That's why I am giving a separate video on this topic. First I will explain you why we are using the deform track. Please have a look at this track. You can see this track is sliding from its starting point. In this case we have to correct this point for a proper solve. You can adjust this track by frame by frame but it will be more time taking. In this situation we can use the deform track to recorrect it. For open the deform track option click over here. Here it is open. Now check your 2D track and find out where you exactly need to correct it and where it is looks fine. In my 2D, I would say in this area my 2D looks pretty good and coming to the end it starts sliding. So what I am going to do is go to the frame range which, where the 2D track looks fine and click on the buffer track option. Now I am going to create a key where the point looks fine. For create the key we have an option here. Click on it. Create key. And gradually check where the point is start sliding then stop there. And add a key using the 2D track movement button. Using these buttons you can adjust the 2D tracks. Now adjust the point and you can check the points frame to frame using page up and page down button. And here I corrected it. Ok here I have completed my 2D point and the next step is to deform it. This deform track option will update the track value from the old to the new value. Please have a look on the 2D track. I am going to deform it. Click over here and it's done. Did you see the changes? Yeah, now our point looks pretty fine and that's it. That's it for today's videos. Hope you guys like this video. Feel free to ask any doubts on this topic. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon for new updates.